happy Thanksgiving guys. I'm so happy. This is my first keto Thanksgiving. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I got as I plate it up. I hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving. This is the cornbread stuffing. Um, it's made out of almond flour. Oh, I'm so excited. I also got some butternut squash. This is replacing my uh, sweet potatoes or yams. And you can't have a Thanksgiving without some greens. This is actually kale um, because they had a really good deal on some kale. If you guys saw my grocery haul, you would know. Whew. It is so hot. This is the cauliflower mac and cheese. I actually have a recipe on this. Oh my gosh, I forgot the green bean casserole. I just warmed up a little bit of the green bean casserole. If you watched my um, recipe video on this, this is the only thing that I like pre-made because I wanted a separate recipe video. Who I don't know if I have enough room for anything else. Mmm, so good. I also have some cauliflower mashed potatoes. a little bit more cauliflower mac and cheese because I am so excited to eat all this and I just have some gravy now this is actually store-bought gravy I did not have time to make gravy um, Trader Joe's has a really good one um, it's only like two grams of carbs um, per serving and last but not least I have some chicken now, if you follow my Instagram, um, you might have seen I had a works giving and I was in charge of bringing the chicken. So I figured, you know what, it doesn't make sense to buy a new meat when I already have some. So I'm going to go ahead and do a thumbnail. Then we can dig in. Okay. I am literally burning up though, but I'm so ready to eat this. I also made homemade cranberry sauce. I'm super excited to try this. Who likes cranberry sauce? I feel like cranberry sauce is like a love-hate relationship. Oh, I'm gonna take my first bite, and of course it's gonna be the cornbread stuffing. Yes, a hundred times yes. That's crazy. How much that tastes like the real deal. Mm. This is so good. Honestly, this doesn't feel like I'm depriving myself at all. I also have hot sauce. I really can't eat greens without hot sauce doused on it. Mm. This is honestly the best thing ever. It took me so long to make all this. Let me know in the comments down below what your traditional food is. My mom never made green bean casserole. Mm. But since starting keto, um, I started eating a lot more green beans. So I basically became obsessed with it. Mm. I also have a lime LaCroix. This honestly, 
Oh, I forgot to take a picture. I got my picture. All right, it's time to really grub now. Mmm. All of this honestly tastes like what my mom used to make. I'm surprised I've been able to replicate it because it was so scary thinking that I would have to um, make everything keto. And if you watched my weight loss update, I actually talk about like che cheating. Like, oh, maybe I'll just do a regular Thanksgiving. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But I wanted to show you. You can make things work. I looked up the recipe for the cranberry sauce. I looked up a good replacement for yams. And it's actually out there. And honestly, this cranberry sauce is so much better than the canned stuff. But it's like one of those things where I lived off the canned stuff. So that's all I really knew. I'm gonna be honest with you guys though. Thanksgiving, it's always a bittersweet um, holiday. I don't really talk about this a lot, but my dad actually passed away 10 years almost to the day. Um, yesterday was actually the 10 year anniversary of when I was 15. And unfortunately I wasn't able to really see him before he passed away because I was in Japan living with my mom. My mom and dad got divorced. Um, so he was in the States. So I think it's fitting just to be thankful on this holiday because I know how how easily easy life can be just taken away you know but I hope you guys are having a good Thanksgiving and let me know what your Thanksgiving tradition is I usually cook with my mom like when I used to live with her like I would help her cook it's funny I actually called her and she was in the middle of cooking because <laughs> I had a question about the cornbread dressing But even though my dad passed away practically on Thanksgiving, it was Thanksgiving, my time in Japan, um, it was the day before in the States, um, it is a great time for me to remember him and to remember life is short. And if you're not doing what you truly want to do, it's time to change it. Mm. You guys, this is so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for like ever to eat this. It took me forever to set this up. I wanted to try to get you guys to see all the food. I'm surprised that these cauliflower mashed potatoes taste like mashed potatoes. Mm. I'm gonna have so much leftovers. It's ridiculous. I never know how to make like only like one or two servings. It's always like family size, which is totally fine. Um, it'll be easy to eat throughout the weekend. I always feel like Thanksgiving food is just a whole bunch of messiness. Mm. I actually want a little bit more 
gravy. This gravy is actually the truth. I got it at Trader Joe's. And for a fourth of a cup, it's only two grams of carbs. So, <sighs> that was a thing. I never really cooked. Like, if I would have cooked the Cornish hen, I would have had um, stuff to make the gravy because I like making it with, like, the meat drippings. But since I didn't have that, I was like, I still want gravy. Mmm. Now that I know that I can successfully do a Thanksgiving keto, um, it makes me really hopeful for Christmas because most of, I feel like Christmas and Thanksgiving food is the same. Does anyone else feel like that? Or am I the only one? Oh, I got a new dress. Is it totally Thanksgiving? If you guys watched my Instagram story, um, I tried on all these like dresses and this one fit. Also, I'm in a size 12, like, ah! I've never been in a size 12, like, ever in life, not as a kid. I went straight from, like, kid, junior, size 16 or 18 to, like, regular adult size, like, 16, 18. So I went to Express to try on their um, work pants, because God knows I need more work pants. <laughs> My pants are falling off of me at this point. Um, and the size 12 fit. I was going to get a size 14 to try, but I couldn't find them. I could only find a size 12. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it on. It probably won't fit. That's what came across in my head. But then I was thinking, you know, I can work up to this goal. I honestly just wanted to see how far I had to go to get to a size 12. It was the best feeling in the world. Like, you don't even understand. Like, yeah, it's not my goal, goal size, but it's like a really big milestone. You know what I mean? Like, my mom, she's skinny mini. And there was one point where she was a size 12. And it looked good on her, you know? So... Mmm. This is honestly going to be my only meal for the day. <laughs> because I put a whole bunch of butter in all of this. So it's going to keep me full for a while. I almost did a traditional Thanksgiving though. But I wanted to show you guys like there's way to, ways to replace this. I love macaroni and cheese. I was the person in charge of macaroni and cheese. Um, but cauliflower mac and cheese is just as good. And especially if you're the type of person that eats everything together, you just really want the cheesy flavor to go and coincide with everything. And this is definitely a cheesy flavor. I have a recipe for that. Um, I'll leave the links to all the recipes down below, the ones that I used or I found. The cornbread dressing, I kind of just like whipped together. I used one recipe and then um, kind of modified it because I didn't have all the ingredients. Mm. Oh, this is so good, guys. I'm like looking at all these leftovers like... All this. I'm the one that usually cooks um, since living with my sister. I've just always loved cooking and you know, so I was like really nervous. I wanted her to still feel like it was a Thanksgiving, even though it's like completely keto, which keto is still flavorful because you can use oils and butters and things like that. So. She's not going to miss the flavor at all. Also, did you guys like um, 
the video with my sister. If you haven't, definitely check out her channel. As she does natural hair and vlogs and things like that. Um, I'll be making appearances there because, yeah, I just like filming with her. It's so fun. I didn't even realize that I would like it until we started filming like mukbangs together. And thank you guys for all the sweet comments. Like, it really made our day. Um, I let her know. I was like, everyone's calling you beautiful. Everyone says you're so pretty. And she was like, really? That is like that's so sweet like I had to read the comments and it was like back to back to back everyone was like you are so pretty your sister's so pretty tell her she's pretty so I made sure to let her know what you guys thought of her I'm so full though I think I said I was only gonna have one meal but I honestly might do a live with like Thanksgiving leftovers Cause I'm eating this hella early. I'm eating this like for breakfast. So that way I can edit it out and um, post it for you guys around lunchtime. So you can have someone to eat your Thanksgiving dinner with if you don't want to eat it with your family. <laughs> no, definitely eat with your family. What I've learned, whenever you're able to visit your family or have time to come together, and that's what these holidays really are. It's about just coming together with people that you might not be able to see all the time and just appreciate them. Let them know that you care. Let them know that you, you think about them. And honestly, it's help, It's to help build relationships. And it, it kind of does suck that my family is all in Arkansas. Um, but I'm just so used to being a military child and not seeing them often that it's not a big deal for me. But that's one thing that I wish I had more of is like being able to connect with my extended family a lot more. I actually haven't been able to visit them since I moved to Los Angeles almost three years ago. I'll be three years ago in January. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> all right, now I got to put up all this stuff which is always the fun part right but thankfully I went ahead and washed dishes as I go because I have a really bad habit of just saving it all to the end but that's gonna be all for this one thank you guys so much for watching as always if you like this video and want me to make more of these types of videos on my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below what you're having for Thanksgiving, who you're visiting for Thanksgiving, where you're going, or if you're just like, I'm not even rocking with Thanksgiving. I'm just happy that I have a day off and I can relax and recoup because that's my current situation always. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.